Yo, what's good? <clears throat> this video is going to be about base skins. So, if you take a look right here, you'll see that I have a very, very nice base skin. And this is for winning Terra Aura. And you get the Panthenon. on. It's a very nice base skin. If I click this and I click skin, you can see the boosts that it gets me. So while I have it on, which I do, I have a plus 20% to all unit attack, plus 20% to all HP bonus, and plus 15% to SVS unit damage increase. So basically my damage increase will happen in these places. <coughs> now, if I was to switch, let's say, to my default, which gives me no boost whatsoever. So this is the base that you start with. The holding in stock boost is slightly different to the equipping boost. So I will still get boosts from the special skins. So I still get 10% attack increase. I still get 10% HP bonus. And I get a 1% all units decrease damage taken. Whether I, because I'm even though I'm not using the skin, it's just in my stock. So, over a period of time, to help you get stronger, you do want to accumulate base skins. Now, base skins can cost approximately sixty dollars, sixty pounds, in events, depending on which events you're doing. Some skins will give different boosts, like the Super Miner, for example. When using it, you get an increase in gathering speed by 50%, increase in gather load by 50%, increase in gold production by 20%. But when you're not using it, you get a HP bonus. So just from the Super Miner and the Pantheon, I'm getting a plus 20 HP bonus boost. Plus 20% HP bonus boost just while holding it in stock. As you play the game, you'll want to do your best to accumulate these. It's going to be a lot harder for those not using money, but if you are using money, just be wise as to when to accumulate which base skin, because certain base skins won't be worth it for the cost. You can also accumulate base decors you can get these for events or purchase they cost about 50 pounds 50 dollars and again similar thing when you equip it it will give you a certain boost and when you hold it in stock it will also give you a different boost so it depends which one you choose to buy or get in an event uh, i can show you now so, for example, in this summer carnival event, if you would have gotten 999 tickets or vouchers, you could have gotten one of these bases. And some of these bases have skills, so they'll give you a little bit of a buff. So, as you can see, holding Arcadia in stock gives you a plus one to march size. It's a very popular base. But also, the skill details... When you use its buff, Rally and Cry, you will get a March size increase of 10 for 30 minutes, one time every 24 hours or every day. I believe it's every 24 hours, but um, because it says every day, it, I don't know whether it counts it from reset or the time that you use it. I don't have the base personally, but I do know others that do have the base. Similar to Storm Factory, you'll get a different boost. So holding it in stock, you get plus 20% attack increase, plus 3% all units crit rate. And then you get the capacity of the first garage dock and hangar plus 10. This allows you to stock more troops in your garage dock and hangar. So you can see how collecting different types of bases can help you grow stronger overall. And this has harsh teleport, which can be used three times a day. So it's, it's one of those where you'll want to 
think, is this usable for me and my Alliance members? Because sometimes it can affect Alliance members too. Um, like the Void Matrix, for example, people can use it to teleport next to you, wherever you teleport, as long as you use it. They can use it to teleport next to you for about five minutes. But that's just something to think about when it comes to base skins and how you want to approach getting them. You can also get them in valuable events. So if you really want to pay for it, you can get hot deals. You buy, you buy these titanium blue coins and you can purchase skins that give you different boosts. This one gives you holding in stock boost of basic speed of VIT recovery 20%. As you can see, this, while equipped, gives you all units HP bonus, all units decreased damage taken. Look online, ask people in the Discord, the top world Discord, which base skins are the best overall, and then plan accordingly. I would say that without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt, if you're going to get any skin, get the Super Minor. It just helps you improve in your efficiency and legit helps you sort out so much when it comes to resources and getting things done for your, um, my mind blanked, getting things done for um, Combat Elite and Mechanical Master Research. Apologies, it's been a long morning. <laughs> right, so that's it for base skins in this video. Hopefully you understand that. Um, I'll talk about the cores in another video. But that's it for now. Peace out.